Most of us know that farming has become a big business, a business made up of millions of farms and ranches, most of them family-sized operations. What surprises a lot of people is to learn that modern farming requires a lot of cash for its operations. And because this has been a gradual development, only a relatively short time ago, there was no way for many farmers to get the cash they needed to meet their production expenses when money was tight. Something had to be done and doing it took a lot of intelligent effort on the part of many folks who had a sincere interest in the needs of American agriculture. These things came to my mind the other day when Tom Howard, one of our oldest members, brought his son into the office of our Production Credit Association, where I am the Secretary Treasurer. To look at Tom, you might find it hard to believe he regards the part he owns in our association as one of his most valuable farm tools. You see, back in the 1930s, his stock in our production credit association helped to make it possible for him to hold on to his farm. Even then, his neighbors admired his well-equipped, fertile farm and spoke of Tom as a substantial farmer. But back in those days when just about every known source of farm operating credit had dried up, what did it get a farmer to be substantial? It didn't repair the machinery you had to have to operate a farm. It didn't buy fuel, feed, seed, fertilizer, or livestock. It wouldn't pay the labor you needed to get rush jobs done on time. You could keep on patching up, making do. But this didn't take away the empty feeling around your heart as you realized that unless some unforeseen miracle came along, you stood to lose the farm and the farm home which had been put together by the toil of your hands and mind and by the planning and work of your family. But the miracle came. You eagerly accepted an invitation to join the PCA serving your neighborhood. You got a loan. Hope began to come back. After all, you still had all the farming skill and know-how you had before demand began to drop for the things you produced for the market. Now, you had a new credit tool, a fighting new chance. You pitched into the job with a lot of determination. You put in plenty of hard work. Nature helped. The years pass, and you bring your son into the office of your production credit association. You tell the secretary treasurer that you're planning to retire, that you want your stock in the association made over to the boy, that you feel nothing you can pass on to him is more likely to help him build and maintain a good farm business than to become a part of the short-term farm credit cooperative which made it possible for you to hold on to your farm. Then you realize you've done what many other fathers do. You've taken it for granted that your son knows the whole story as well as you do. You give it to him in a few words. Your explanation is all right as far as it goes, but your son has an eager mind. Why is it such a great thing he wants to know? How do farmers use production credit associations in running their farm businesses? What can the associations do to help their members? How many associations like ours are there? Just a moment, son, you parry. No more than a dozen questions in one bunch. And then you realize you're in the right place to find the answers. Your friend, Bill Cochran, secretary treasurer of your association, knows a lot about the production credit system. And you turn to him for the answers. Production credit associations are just another example of farmers working together to obtain a service they need. 
They provide credit on terms and plans to fit the needs of farmers and ranchers in every agricultural region of the United States. They are real credit cooperatives, democratic in control and operation, set up to provide at reasonable cost sound short-term credit to their farmer and stockman members. They work with the interests of their members constantly in mind. You see, serving those who borrow through them is the only reason these short-term farm credit cooperatives have for continuing in business. This keeps the goal of giving wise credit advice and sound farm income building help uppermost in the minds of all employees, directors and officers. As they became firmly established, the associations were accepted as strong local businesses which have gained in prestige because they are operated by their members for the benefit of the agricultural communities they serve. In some ways, these short-term credit cooperatives are much alike. In others, since they serve farmers working at varied types of agriculture, in widely separated areas, they are quite different. Operators of dairy farms in all parts of the country use production credit to accomplish many jobs. These include buying and breeding improved animals, purchase and maintenance of equipment, pasture improvement, including ground preparation, seeding, liming and fertilization, as well as other work going into making and keeping up the most profitable sorts of pastures. Buying farm machinery, paying machine repair bills, hiring skilled labor, buying fuel for power equipment which puts up winter roughage, or keeping other essential jobs moving along on schedule. Purchasing high quality feed and feed supplements, and many similar things which go into turning out high-grade dairy products for exacting buyers. Many members of production credit associations make good use of credit obtained through their associations, getting their necessary work done promptly and economically. This farmer is starting a thorough job of seedbed preparation with equipment purchased through the help of a loan from his PCA. It is important to keep in mind that the members of production credit associations occupy positions of trust and respect in their communities. This is reflected in the pride which many of them, along with their families, take in their homes. Home improvements, properly planned and correctly made, often add to the value of farm properties. Home improvements and household equipment items are frequently included in their loans. By participating in the operation of junior PCAs organized in FFA chapters or 4-H clubs, their youthful members learn sound lending principles as well as how to make proper use of short-term farm credit. Such junior PCAs help farm youngsters to buy high-quality animals. They also make loans for other constructive purposes. Many officers and members of production credit associations, including this director of an Ohio association, have given much time to the development of lending programs to help young farmers and ranchers use credit wisely. The advice and assistance of such experienced members has enabled large numbers of young farmers and ranchers to learn effective ways of using credit in their farm businesses. Directors and employees of the associations are constantly discussing and planning ways to better serve their members. Among other things, they frequently confer with agricultural colleges and extension workers to keep themselves informed on the latest farm developments. Organized information about short-term farm credit is developed at seminars like this. Members of the associations are encouraged to seek the advice and counsel of their county agricultural agents. 
Production credit associations provide working farmers and stockmen with dependable credit to do their production jobs and to make such desirable shifts in their farm business as improving pastures and increasing livestock production. Farmers producing varying commodities in all parts of the nation benefit from the availability of farm-geared short-term credit. Their progress is marked by the growth of their communities, by the institutions they erect from the products of their work and planning. Whether they operate in the range country of the West, in the corn hog feeder area of the Midwest, on fertile farmlands in the North, on tobacco farms in the South or the East, in the far-flung cotton belt, or grow crops with the help of irrigation or farm in other sections. Today, successful farmers and ranchers are able businessmen, which is the reason we find this PCA member, along with his young son, doing some important homework. You see, credit is as necessary to the operation of the farm business as it is to operating other types of businesses. Making application for farm operating credit through a production credit association follows sound business practice. You should take with you the information you will need to show why and how you can profitably put short-term credit to work. Your secretary treasurer or an association representative will listen to you carefully. Out of his experience and training as an agricultural lender, he will make sound suggestions when these are warranted. If he feels that a loan will be sound and will serve a useful purpose, he will help you fill out an application. This will become a part of your loan file and will provide the association with organized information about your farm business. The association's representative will visit your farm. Such representatives know the farm community and its possibilities. The suggestions they make often help an applicant to improve his plans and so contribute directly to increasing his farm income. The reports of such visits, coupled with the information on the loan application, help the loan committee out of their own experiences as successful farmers and also as borrowers themselves. The members of these committees often are enabled to make recommendations of genuine value to the applicant. Upon his return to the association office, the secretary treasurer makes a suggestion to this farmer. He has asked for a single loan to make it possible for him to get his seed bed ready. He has indicated he expected to ask for additional credit for seed and fertilizer when these should be needed. The committee is entirely ready to approve the amount the applicant has requested. However, to save this farmer time, money and trouble, the committee recommends a loan to finance all the year's operations. There's nothing new about the idea that planning saves money, of course. However, this type loan offers special savings to those farmers whose operations can be served by it. Such loans are offered by associations in every part of the nation. It's not hard to see how a loan to supply all production credit needs for a year or a season really makes planning for the use of short-term farm credit effective. For example, consider an application for such a loan you might make if you were this general farmer. You would start by figuring how much it will cost you to run your farm business, month by month or season by season, for living expenses, seed, feed, fertilizer, gas and oil, taxes, installments due on any real estate mortgage loan, or labor and supplies for harvesting and marketing. Then, you figure the income you're likely to receive in the same period. For example, you may plan to sell some hogs during the spring. You expect them to bring about $400, so you put down this sum. During June and July, you expect to market around $1,000 worth of wheat through your cooperative elevator. You write down this amount. 
In this way, you put together enough information to help your secretary treasurer work out a loan which will supply your production credit needs and fit your repayment possibilities. As you go about your work, with the help of credit obtained through your PCA, you know the credit plan you are using is suited to the needs of your particular farm. In other sections, this sort of loan may need to be organized along somewhat different lines. In the case of this owner of a poultry flock, repayments on an equipment loan may be arranged on a monthly schedule, since the borrower will have income with which to meet such installments. Dairy farmers, whose income reaches them in the form of monthly checks, can also make repayments on this sort of schedule. Feed, labor, herd replacements, fences, building repairs, milking machines, and other equipment may be paid for with the help of PCA loans. Purchasing bulk milk handling equipment with PCA loans has resulted in marked labor savings. Higher quality product has brought about larger milk checks. Coupled with labor savings, these sometimes make possible repayment of equipment debts within fairly short periods. You might think single crop farmers would use only one payment loans. Some of them do. However, more and more farmers are leaving the single payment class. In the cotton belt, for example, Large numbers of farmers have gone in for producing many other things for the market. Improved pastures, like this one, help many southern farmers who have turned to livestock as an additional source of farm income. Of course, single cropping is still followed by some farmers in certain sections of the country. However, even many producers of single crops, like cranberry growers, find budget loans do a good job for them. Credit for labor hire for picking, as well as for such expenses as the cost of fertilizer, insecticides, and machinery, may be arranged before the season starts. There are many benefits from arranging for production credit in advance of the actual need. You may even be spared the time for trips to town during your busy season by asking your association to mail out a check when the money is needed. The interest does not begin until the cash is advanced to you. It stops when you pay your loan, or if you make a partial payment, interest stops on the amount repaid when you repay it. This helps to keep credit costs down. At the same time, you know your credit needs for the entire production season from beginning through harvest have been arranged. You are now able to put your attention where it will do the most for you and your family at carrying forward your farm job. Production credit loans help farmers in every part of the nation to carry forward their work. Production credit loans help producers of such specialties as maple products to buy necessary supplies and equipment. Here, as elsewhere, credit is often essential for paying labor in the peak season. Modernization with increased efficiency and lowered costs is frequently accomplished with the aid of production credit loans. Growers of citrus fruits often band together to do a more efficient or economical job of marketing or processing their products, as well as to obtain services needed in their operations. Credit is one such service many citrus producers need. Large numbers of the most progressive growers get short-term credit through production credit associations serving their communities. Cattlemen find terms and policies suited to their requirements and repayment possibilities in production credit associations. In some of the western states, the larger ranchers are served by special associations which operate on a statewide basis. The same holds true for the large sheep ranches. Throughout the West, many sheepmen are served by such production credit associations. Stockmen in more thickly settled districts frequently use credit obtained through associations serving only a few counties. The important thing is 
that the farm business be large enough for sound operation and that the borrowing stockman has necessary equipment and know-how along with a proper equity in the farm or ranch business, feed or livestock, or all of these. Large numbers of stockmen meeting such requirements get the credit they must have for buying feeder livestock or for meeting the other necessary costs of operating their farms and ranches. You see, production credit loans are available on plans and terms suited to every sort of farm job. These include fuel, labor, and other expenses for seedbed preparation. The purchase of improved seed. Buying fertilizer to increase yields and cut down unit costs of production. Sound loans may be used for weed control and for the purchase of sprays and insecticides. For buying and maintaining necessary farm machinery. For getting mid-season essential farm work done economically and on time. Loans from production credit associations sometimes make possible the advanced purchase of essential farm supplies at times when materials are plentiful and prices are reasonable. This often makes possible substantial savings. The owner of this potato warehouse used a PCA loan to help complete construction of the building. He also assured himself in time of shortage of the fertilizer he would need for the following year with the help of another loan from his association. The loan made possible a worthwhile saving on the fertilizer it purchased. High quality livestock bought with such loans often add to the income earning power of farmers. Loans for the purchase of equipment for harvest and for meeting labor costs are often obtained through production credit associations. In fact, whether your particular farm production job includes growing tobacco in the southeast or elsewhere, citrus fruits in California, Arizona, Florida, or any of the other places citrus fruits are grown, Producing potatoes wherever potatoes are grown commercially. Growing apples and other fruit. Or producing turpentine and other naval stores. Growing corn and feeding hogs or other livestock. Producing rice. Raising sheep. Producing vegetables for city markets. Growing sugar cane for syrup and sugar. Or sugar beets to supply the same need. Or some of the other crops or farm products which go into supplying our national need for food, feed and fiber. The ways of producing crops and livestock differ from section to section, depending on such things as climate, soil and markets. But PCA loans are flexible. They can be adapted to all kinds of conditions. There is a production credit association which can supply the credit you need for sound and useful agricultural purposes. If you need long-term farm mortgage credit geared to farm needs and repayment possibilities, the PCA Secretary Treasurer will refer you to the National Farm Loan Association serving your community. In some places, the two credit cooperatives use the same staff. In others, they may share joint or adjacent offices. The production credit system at all times keeps the door of dependable credit open to the nation's working farmers and ranchers. It is natural that this should be the case. For in the production credit associations, the borrowing farmers and stockmen members hold control. Only members with active loans or who have had active loans 
within the past two years are entitled to vote. When directors are elected, each member casts one vote regardless of the size of his loan. This keeps control of the farmer's own short-term credit shop in the hands of farmers. There are folks who insist co-op credit is a real magician. He must be to have obtained such results. So that in every agricultural section of the nation, production credit associations, farmer controlled and operated in the interest of farmer borrowers, are on the job, providing the short-term credit farmers have to have to do their important work of production. The operators of many of our best farms and ranches, large or small, belong to production credit associations and use credit obtained through them. They feel a justifiable pride at being part owners of their local credit cooperatives, which make up a nationwide farmer controlled system, which provides credit for every sound farm and ranch production need in every agricultural area. Each production credit association represents a group of experienced, capable farmers who have combined to obtain short-term credit for useful production purposes. In a production credit association, farm neighbor works with farm neighbor. Pulling together in their individual associations, they provide a broad and dependable base supporting the national production credit system. The government helped the associations get started and they operate under supervision as do other lending institutions. Government supervision of the associations is provided through district production credit corporations. District boards, representative of agriculture in the area, help establish supervision policies adapted to the working needs of the associations. All of these things help to ensure the financial strength of the associations. As a result, farmer members of the production credit associations may be sure of being able to get the credit they must have to do the sound, useful production jobs they have to do. You see, the local associations never have loaned government money. Loanable funds are obtained through the 12 Federal Intermediate Credit Banks, which discount the notes of working farmers and ranchers for the production credit associations. These notes are then, in effect, pledged by the intermediate credit banks as security for debentures or short-term bonds. The security behind these debentures has proved to be so dependable that they have always been in demand by investors. So it is that the credit which the working farmers and ranchers making up the production credit system use in farm and ranch production actually is provided by private investors who are located in the nation's big money markets. Thus, the farmers and the stockmen within the production credit system by the interest they take in their associations and by the way in which they discharge their financial obligations have helped assure themselves of a dependable source of farm operating credit. Farmer members of production credit associations are proud because their own credit cooperatives are making an important contribution to the welfare of the entire country. They know their production credit system serves as the farm end of a pipeline maintaining a constant flow of credit from city investors to farms and ranches throughout the United States. They realize that in this fashion, the cooperative short-term credit system is helping hundreds of thousands of farmers and ranchers to carry on a more efficient job of producing the food, feed, and fiber to fill the needs of an ever-growing population. Thus, they have made certain that wherever the signs of production credit associations are to be seen, farmers and stockmen can obtain operating credit for sound and useful agricultural purposes. By assisting farmers to produce more efficiently, they have made it possible for a larger portion of the American people to work at producing many other things required to support a constantly improving standard of living. Farmers, by working together in these credit cooperatives, are helping to create a better way of life for their families and build and maintain better rural communities. The farms and credit cooperatives that members like yourself have worked hard to put in top running order are a heritage you have every right to be proud of passing on to your sons and daughters. 
It all adds up to farmers and ranchers helping each other help themselves. And by so doing, to help build and maintain a strong, properly balanced national economy, so vital to the defense of our liberties and to the security of the free world.